I grew up in a military community. I went to American High School in Japan. But that's like taking a bunch of kids out of America and sticking them on a desert island. We had one hour of team music a week, a, a, a week <laughs> and um, a no television. We, nobody drove cars. You couldn't drive a car, so everyone rode the buses. You were. It was a very. It was like living in a very small town, but nobody went home to see their grandmothers. Everyone stayed in this environment, and what you developed was an unbelievably closely knit group of people uh, who shared uh, the same frustrations with you know not having any idea what the fashions were, not you know not having a hometown, uh, and having the same fears about our fathers in those days. It was all of our, all of our fathers, our fathers who were working in, in a dangerous time in a dangerous place. that I built then and then continue to nurture um, are bonds that uh, are unbelievably important to me. That uh, uh, Sue Brand is here. Who I, I, have, I, have I seen you since 1966? <laughs> you know, but, but I mean, 1966, <laughs> we're talking 40 years. Um, but we still have uh, what I think of as a close and warm relationship. Uh, a girl drove up from Richmond uh, the other day. I hadn't seen her in, in nearly that long. And yet we still have that relationship because we built a strong bridge between us. And after we were no longer had the same, uh, we were not in exactly the same circumstances, we worked on keeping that alive. I had a great gift to have had Wade. The loss, which I have, is, is pretty small, I think, compared to the loss he had. It's very frustrating for me that he didn't get to live a full life. I really was at peace about the disease. I've sometimes talked about the strange gift that comes with the awful tragedy of losing a child. I had already been through the worst, I believe. We all had. And I had the gift of knowing that nothing will ever be as bad as that. The worst day of my life had already come. And I knew, too, that I had a chance to beat this, a chance my son never had, a chance we never had to save him. Maybe this conversation about our, about our own mortality allows us to think about how, how it is we want to use that unknown number of days each of us has. And if that conversation starts and people start thinking about, you know, how is it that I can do something better for my family, do something better for my community, do something better for my country uh, in those days uh, instead of what, what we can accumulate. I sit in a chemotherapy chair. Um, 
once every few weeks and listen to people uh, speaking with the person who accompanied them, wondering how they're going to pay for the kinds of care that they, that they need in order to stay alive. It's actually good to feel like you can be an inspiration to people. The fact that you've given that gift is really great to say all of us will move forward together. We, uh, move forward with research, move forward with everybody's individual fights. Um, but that, uh, but now this is my public statement that I'm, I, I want to be part of the sisterhood. how to fly by themselves. They have to know what to do when the wind blows them off course. And that's what's happened to me. The wind has blown me off course, but I'm kind of thinking this might be it. That in bad times, you still keep your eye on what it was that was important to you, and you press forward with that. And if that's, if, if that's all I give them, then, then I will have done a really great job. I am who I am today and I'll become whoever it is that I will become in large part because she was my mom. Every lesson that she's taught us has become part of our ethic. All of the grace and strength that she's shown during her own life will hold us up in the hard days we face in our own lives. Every smile and every hug she gave us will someday pass on to our own children. My greatest hope and the greatest ambition that I can think of is that we will each honor her by being the people that she taught us to be and that by doing that she'll live on in each of us.